Welcome back. This is the ADNet Technology GEPON Products and Applications Part 2. In the first part, we discuss what are the concepts of the GEPON and why it's much better to develop the networks based on the GEPON. In this part, we will review most of the concepts on the deployment of the GEPON and the big biggest parts of such network. Let's start with the main building blocks. What exactly are the GEPON building blocks? What the GEPON network consists of? So let's see this. As you can see, the GEPON network consists first, of course, with the, with the link to serial node interface. So here you connect like a voice network, your ISP network or the CATV. If you offer the triple play, then you can have the here interfaces with all three networks. Next, here is the OLT, which stands for the Optical Link Terminal. Here is the ONU, which stands for the Optical Network Unit. So that's the two parts which actually needs the power. And now for the most important concept of the GEPON, you can see here we have the splitters, what we was talking about in the first part of the presentation. So here, as you know, you no need the power and here you can have a splitter starting from 1 to 2, 1 to 4 and up to the 1 to 64. So the only power you will need in the center where you have the OLT and only the customer flat or the house where you have the ONU. So here you will have the splitters which are totally no need any maintenance and no need any power. What you can build with the such topology. Actually you are totally free, you are not limited and only the fantasy in the sky is the limit. So first you can make a tree topology. As you can see it's using one to n splitter. So that's coming, you have a one, one fiber coming from an OLT from the, from the passive optical network port up to the ONU and here you can see there is example of the five ONUs but as we discussed before, you can have the splitters 1 to 2, 1 to 4, up to 64. The next topology, actually you can see here is the splitter, what we was talking about. And the next topology, you can see we have the OLT and the here is the 2 against 2 top couplers topology. You see this is something like kind of the ring. It's that the concept is taken from the from the SDH networks, but you still can do it with the with the GEPON, and this is kind of backup configuration. So if someone cut your optical cable in one direction, like if the optical cable is cut in the east direction, you can still have a communication in this case, and everything is double. The next topology is a tree. So here again, you can see we use the two against n splitters, and again you can have the main optical link is redundant. And the most common topology, which actually is the most cost saving in, in, in means of the fiber laying costs, are the bus topology. So you see it's absolutely tree topology. It actually looks like a tree, you can, you can call it a bus. So actually the name is not important. You can, you can take your map put the OLT and put the ONUs and actually now you are just limited where you put the splitters. So you see it's, it looks familiar, right? It's just, just like a street. And along a street you just install the optical fiber cable. All you need is just one fiber and just you install the splitters and then connect the, the houses standing near the street. It's a total triple play solution. As we said, you just need one fiber to the customer and you have interfaces at OLT side to the PSTN and the optical systems and the GEPON what, what are offered from ADNet we have the SIP VYP gateway Variox codec supported in the uplink so the ONU at the customer side actually has the integrated access device which, which will then be connected to the customer phone then you can have a CATV port for the TV services and of course you have the IP port for the internet and all that just need one device at the customer phone, at uh, the customer house. 
So the main advantage is again, if we look at this picture we can see at the OLT side you just need one device and it transmits up to the 1 gigabit to every customer. First of all that saves the fiber resource. And the PON advantage is the split ratios up to 64, easy fault location, reduced fault location times, save the OPEX and actually the CAPEX is less as well if you made a careful planning of the network, save the space and the cost. And the splitter approach allows you pay as you grow scenario. You can install one splitter per area and all you need is just to come and connect the house when the new subscriber appears. In a concept of media converters, as you know, you need come and install the media converter and customer house and then you need the same media converter. At the opposite side, at, at your point of presence, here you just install the fiber and they install the splitter and then you just wait as the customer appears and again it's total video data and an IPTV or traditional CATV GE pon is flexible you can offer as IPTV you can offer CATV services at the same fiber that's what we wanted to say in a part 3 okay no wait a minute I have a question oh, well that's that's actually easy. You can go to www.adnet.com.tw, fill out the contact form. There is a support forms near the every product, and you can ask every question actually you have. We can help you the plan. We can help you the quote, the prices, and you have the answers. And a very easy way is just to send the email to info at adnet.com.tw and get your answers in one hour. Thank you and let's wait for the part 3. Stay tuned.